now that electricity prices have risen sharply year by year, it has become people's main cost of living worry, and no real relief can be seen. It is almost impossible to decipher and compare the marketing and promotional offers of energy retailers to no avail. As we wait for the energy market to solve its own problems, reducing household energy consumption is a very reasonable strategy. 5 Ways to Reduce Household Energy Consumption 1. Appliances Unplug your appliances when they're not in use. Your TV, computer, microwave and even some washing machines have a standby mode, which means they're still using energy even when they're not in use. Buy appliances with a good energy rating. The more stars, the better, but think about size first. Often it's easier for a larger model to be more efficient, and therefore have more stars, than a smaller one. However, since it is bigger, its overall energy consumption is usually higher. Pick the right washing machine. Although they usually cost more to buy, most front-loader washing machines save you money over time and are kinder to the environment because they use less power, water and detergent than top loaders. Choose an energy-efficient fridge. Your fridge and freezer is working non-stop and the energy it consumes adds up quickly. All new fridges sold in Australia must meet minimum energy performance standards MEPS. Look for a model that uses a hydrocarbon, such as butane or pentane, as the refrigerant and or blowing agent for the insulation foam. All fridges on the market are CFC free, so don't base your purchase decision on CFC free labels. 2. Heating and cooling insulate your roof or ceiling. This will help keep your home a pleasant temperature in summer and winter. It saves you money on energy bills and pays for itself over a relatively short time. Draft proof. You can draft proof your home by making sure doors and windows are properly sealed. You can buy draft excluders or window seals very cheaply. Seal your chimney with a damper. This will help to keep heat from escaping in winter assuming the fireplace isn't in use, and help stop hot air from coming in during the warmer months. Avoid installing downlights. Besides using a lot of energy, they penetrate the ceiling and insulation, causing heat loss. Compact fluorescent light bulbs, CFLs, are a good option for lighting. Close all external windows and doors. This is especially important when your heater or air conditioner is running. Shade your windows. During hot summer days this will help to keep the heat out, and on cold nights curtains or blinds help to keep the heat in. Turn on the air conditioner early if you like the latest energy saving technology and knowledge, please follow our channel. If you have an air conditioner, try to use it only on really hot or humid days, and if you expect a hot day, pre-EMPT the heat rather than waiting until your home is already hot. Similarly, start heating early when expecting a cold day. Look for programmable timer and thermostat controls. Set your air conditioner at the highest temperature setting at which you still feel cool enough. 25C is usually adequate. Each 1 degree Celsius increase of the thermostat setting will save about 10% on your energy usage. Install ceiling fans. Ceiling fans are much cheaper than air conditioning and have less impact environmentally. 3. Transport. Even if you have a fuel-efficient car, whenever possible it's a good idea to leave it at home and walk, cycle, catch public transport or carpool. 4. Water Water Efficiency Labels The water efficiency labeling and standards, wells, scheme allows you to compare the water efficiency of different products, the more stars the better. Ratings are compulsory for all new domestic washing machines, dishwashers, showers, toilets, urinals and most taps. Rainwater Collected rainwater is ideal for watering your garden. Contact your water authority and local council for advice on how to install and maintain a rainwater tank. Greywater. 
Recycled grey water from showers, laundry tubs and washing machines can be stored for use on the garden, or even in toilets and washing machines, or it can be diverted to the garden with a plumbed-in diverter. Conditions may apply in the area where you live, contact your local council for advice. Buy a water-efficient showerhead. These are great water-saving devices for daily use. However, if you have an instantaneous hot water system, the flow rate of a low-flow showerhead may not be enough to start it. Check with your installer. If you have a gravity-fed water system, the water flows from your tank to your taps without being pumped, make sure you buy a showerhead that's designed to cope with low pressure. 5. Green Power The average household emits around 14 tons of greenhouse gases every year, half of which is from electricity generation. This contributes to climate change and global warming. One simple and relatively cheap way that we can all start to make a difference is by switching our electricity to green power. This means using power generated from clean renewable sources such as the sun, wind, water and waste power, rather than coal. Green power is available to all households and generally costs slightly more than standard electricity. If you like the latest energy-saving technology and knowledge, please follow our channel.